All right. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the HDMI LA booth at Computex 2023. We're excited to be back after a three year absence. We'll be showcasing our latest and greatest around the HDMI 2.1 specification. As you can see behind me here, I got to introduce myself on an 8K camera and 8K display. So this is a uh, Astro. It's got a little 8K camera right here. And people can just come to your booth and see themselves in 8K. Absolutely, so that's a professional camera used to produce 8K content for broadcast. Uh, they are from Japan, so you can come here and see yourself in glorious 8K detail, see every last whisker on your face, every last hair that's out of place. Uh, it's fantastic to see. So what's happened the last three years? Well, lots has happened in the last three years, so we've uh, had a proliferation of HDMI 2.1 devices. Uh, AK has started to gain momentum out there. Uh, we'll see here in a minute. We'll go through all our AK demonstrations. Gaming, especially around 4K 120, VRR, ALLM, so variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode, um, has really made the, become gamer friendly in displays and monitors. All right. So, so let me, uh, let's do a tour of your booth. Absolutely. So we'll do that. let me turn it over to Jeff, and he will give us a demonstration and a description of all our demos here at Computex. Jeff? Hi, my name is Jeff Park. I'm the CTO of HDMI Licensing. And we're here at Computex uh, in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, here, we're, our booth, we're showing HDMI uh, 2.1a. 8K ecosystem. So one of the questions we always get is, where's 8K, you know, where's the equipment? The equipment is actually available now. So this TV, for example, is a Samsung 8K TV that's in production, uh, that's already on the market. Um, another example is this AVR. Uh, AVRs are typically what you use for surround sound and speaker system, but they also have HDMI switching uh, and input capability. So this allows you to get the highest quality audio available in the market today uh, and process them. Uh, as well as the simple switches, uh, be able to support 8K. Uh, this is a matrix switch, so what that means is it has two, in, two, two inputs and two outputs. So you can use any combination, you can do mirroring and other things uh, to be able to um, have a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, setup, right? So. Uh, that is uh, HDMI able to transport the maximum audio quality? Yes. That yeah. can be imagined by anyone. Right. The, if you want. Uh, highest quality possible, HMI is it, right? Because it's uncompressed uh, and it delivers highest quality possible. Uh, and we'll demonstrate that in a little bit. Additionally, this is for uh, industrial applications, so you have a lot of uh, HMI ports. And this allows the use of high quality, high resolution 8K signage, which is important in industrial applications. So, for example, you can have menus or other signage, uh, airports or stadiums, other pl places. Uh, this is a source device that brings you that capability. Additionally, uh, the Xbox game console uh, currently doesn't support 8K, but they announced it when they first released this. But right now, they support 4K 120, so that's another way to use the HDMI bandwidth uh, to be able to deliver very smooth, ultra lifelike uh, video games uh, running at 4K, but at 120 frames per second, which is more than double um, what you typically see uh, in TV shows and, and movies. There, uh, in the last two, three years, many gamers are very excited about 2.1, right. right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, PC games been able to do 120, even 240 for years, but this is a first time game console and home users at a very affordable price can get high quality 4K 120, which was, you know, un, unimaginable for consumers uh, even a couple years ago, right? So that allows it. And then finally here, we're also demonstrating is industrial uh, 8K camera. So you can actually get live footage. This is actually in production, again, not a prototype. Uh, this is actually in use uh, in uh, stadiums, for example, uh, other industrial applications where it allows to have ultra high quality uh, 8K video. Uh, this demo is showing 8K60 HDR, uh, live fed directly to the TV. So... And it's like... Uh... This is a Micro Four Thirds. Yeah, Micro Four Thirds. Uh, the, the, the best 8K camera in the world for Micro Four Thirds, maybe. Astro is always yeah. showing the next gen stuff, right? Yeah, so as you can see, whether you're looking at the TV image or me, there's no real difference in terms of clarity. 
Uh, and so it's this allows for things like very high quality video, obviously, but you know they use it for inspections, like bridges <laughs> or um, buildings, other things. They can use these ultra high speed, uh, high quality cameras to see even the finest cracks, right, uh, on images because. This is something you can't really see very quickly, but if you can record a video as you're passing by buildings and um, bridges, for example, uh, then you can use AI to find cracks like this uh, on buildings and other things and repair them. And so it significantly uh, increases the capability of those kind of applications as well. It was, uh, I want to say, life-changing to see myself in 8K like this because it's, it's like next-gen, it's like the future. Yeah, right. In the future, everybody's going to do 8K video conferencing, right? <laughs> so we just need to have nice bandwidth and coding and everything. Yeah, and that I mean, will be a, always gonna an be application. New, new com compression, new technology, new encoding methods, new processors. So it's always improving. You know, even back then, we're, even the HD days, we were using MPEG-2, like transmitting it like at 30 megabits at 1080i. But now we can do 4K at like 15 megabits, right? So half the bandwidth. But ten, uh, maybe eight times the quality, uh, maybe more, right? So uh, technology is always going to improve, and AK is not going to be any different. Uh, and things will progress and become more affordable and be more available. Uh, and you know, hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll see consumers take advantage of it. So hopefully, you know, that'll happen um, soon, and we'll, we expect that. You know, YouTube already supports AK, so it's not something that's outrageous. Uh, and many YouTube creators already. I'll use high quality uh, cameras, so we we'll expect. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's just an excellent. It's an excellent AK TV. Uh, it has very good light, uh, brightness and everything. Right, and, and it's great colors. We're in a very terrible lighting situation here, and even then, the quality of the image is just phenomenal. Right, so uh, yeah, we expect nothing less going forward. I. I actually heard, I think they told me that they have their stuff in space sometimes. And that yeah, would be a perfect. They would bring it in space and make 8K movies. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's very flexible, right? Because 8K is not just about high resolution. So if you think about it, you do, you do 4X zoom, you're still at 4K, right? If you do 8X zoom on this image, it's still 1080p, right? And we're not using any lenses. And you add lenses on top of that, you got extraordinary, amazing uh, detail that you can zoom in on. Uh, so from space, from airplanes, from within stadiums, right? You can have just four cameras covering the entire stadium uh, versus now where you need a bunch of zoom, zoom lenses, a bunch of different cameras to cover the whole stadium. So lots of applications and AKs, uh, I think, not just resolution, but other applications you'll see uh, on the market. I think many people were surprised how quickly 4K became standard in the industry, it's not possible nearly to buy 1080p TVs anymore. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably going to be the same with 8K, then boom. At right. some point, if you buy a TV, it's probably going to be an 8K. Right. And upscaling and all the technologies that are out there today, um, you're going to get you know, improvements no matter what, right? So it's not like 8K is the only thing that improved, right? The glass, the, the, the backlight, the pixels, power processors. Uh, everything, everything on this TV from like say, you know, two, three years ago, or even compared to the 4K, is greatly improved, right? So everything improves. That's not just one thing that improves, you know, resolution, right? So every time a new generation TV comes out, many things improve. So the whole experience, not just the resolution. If you just only increase the resolution, then yeah, it's not gonna make a big difference, but it's not just the resolution. Colors, HDR, um, accuracy, color volume, so many things uh, improve. Uh, as new TV generation come, and cameras too. So everything in the pipeline, right? So it's a generational change, and so we expect uh, hopefully more and more people can enjoy this um, great content. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to upgrade my Micro Four Thirds to 8K. I want to YouTube in 8K. Yeah, why 100, not? 120 would be better. Right. But then right. it's compression, right, over the cable. Uh, can you yeah, explain I mean, a little bit? What's the whole thing about compression? Well, I mean, you have to compress it, right? Raw video takes up crazy amount of uh, data. So, uh, to practically speaking, you have to compress it. And so, compression is used everywhere. YouTube, you know, the camera he's currently using right now to record. 
uh, it's just the way it is. And but compression technology also improves, so you'll see uh, high quality images and smaller file sizes and bandwidth requirements moving forward. And uh, the big topic has been the last few years the industry doing HDR. And did they all agree what the HDR format should be supported on the HDMI? Uh, like HDMI supports everything, so it doesn't really matter. Um, HDMI supports everything, so whatever HDR format you have access to, depending on your region and your content provider, we support everything. So you won't, you won't have any issues getting HDR over HDMI. And is it possible to, when we talk about um, all these um, certification systems, it's possible to engineer the certification to to provide a certain guarantee of quality in in a long time, or it's I mean, just because it's high quality construction. Well, there's two different things. You're talking about two different things now, right? So you were talking about now cable. Cable is just the copper wire that delivers, right? Uh, the the bandwidth, the data, and so we ensured our certification program ensures that the cables are tested at, and meets all the requirements necessary to support all the features of HDMI 2.1a. Things like 8K, HDR, and 4K 120, right? So that's part of that cable certification, and I think you already talked to Mike about that. So that's a separate yeah. topic. But uh, for devices, we also require uh, testing and compliance as well. And in the last two three years, <coughs> 2.1A came out. So what's the main difference yeah, here? Yeah, 2.1A is a minor update. We added what we call um, source-based tone mapping. So source-based source -based tone mapping, short for SBTM that will allow source devices that are connected via HDMI to have more control over uh, what we call tone mapping. So tone mapping is basically mapping color, brightness, contrast information from the content to the screen. Typically that's done internally to the TV, uh, but we also allow now with SBTM <coughs> to the source device, game console, you know, set-top box, whatever it may be, to have more control over that if they want, right? for whatever reason. Uh, if it makes sense, especially for gaming, it kind of makes sense for the source device and the game console because it knows what content is going to generate. So to be able to control that fully on the TV uh, is what SBTM and HDMI 2.1 has added. And to do the full 48 gigabit per second, you need to max out AK60 plus all the HDR plus all the and that's that's how the 48 gigabit is used, or is it always right. kind of used somehow? Yeah, yeah, and plus audio. I mean, there's everything combined, right? So. AK60 HDR with the highest quality audio available today is is what you would use the maximum bandwidth for. Uh, but HDMI also supports uh, uh, lossless compression. So it's a compression without losing quality called DSC. It's an industry standard. So we also support that. So if industrial applications, like they want to do 10K, 12K, you know, it's possible already today. So um, consumers, you know, we don't expect that to happen anytime soon. But, you know, AK is plenty, but Know, for a professional application, they need 10K, 12K, maybe even more. Uh, but HMI can support that as well. And I guess the industry is showing better and better compression technologies to yeah. do better AK120 and better 10K and other stuff? Yeah, yeah, but that's independent of HMI. Compression is outside of HMI because we handle everything after it's uncompressed. Uh, so we always handle the highest quality possible. Uh, what happens before that is really uh, always changing and it depends on the platform and, and country and so many other variables. Hi everyone, my name is Mike. I'm in charge of the cable certification program. Now I'm going to introduce you the new program called HDMI certification banner. Uh, as you can show the demo, you can show the banner. It says click to verify only at HDMI.org verify. And it's very simple. We just click the banner. It will link to our server. It say congratulations. Uh, the brand is Rockyfish. The model number, the type Ultra High Speed HDMI cable, and the lens 25 feet. And uh, it's related to the real one, uh, 25 feet. Rockyfish Ultra certification. Okay, that's with a, like a QR code, or how do we let people just scan the QR code? Yeah. This comes up. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, some consumer will get confused 
uh, before they go to get before they getting the cable how do they make sure the cable is really certified so we uh, launch this program it is very simple it called a new program enable consumer to verify clarification of HDMI cable during online shopping click or scan banner connect to HDMI LA for verification on HDMI adapter status cable certification status and the, the reason why uh, it's important to, to uh, uh, certify is because you want the HDMI cable design to be tested to yeah. make sure that it has full support yes. and no interference. Yes, right? yes. and we, uh, for example, the Ultra high-speed HDMI cable has this so many features they can support AK video, HDR, VR, eARC, and the old HDMI 2.1a feature and display the authentication anti-counterfeit label. And so, um, it's important when you have a long cable yes. that it's stable yes. and it's been tested. Uh, if you just buy a cheap cable that's not certified, you might have some problems at home with the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 5G, 4G, yes. everything. Yeah. For example, uh, Ultra cable, the most important feature is the, the EMI feature. As you just mentioned, a lot of uh, Wi-Fi, a lot of uh, equipment, electronics, uh, it's all support like TV, uh, soundbar, will it's get... all in the home. Yeah. And you don't want it to interfere with your cables. Yes, yes, yes. So, so the, the cables are... Uh, how do you make high quality cable? You need to have good isolation of yeah. the copper. It's, uh, it's very professional. You, you need to test the connect, isolation, EMI chamber, and the good uh, shielding, and the, the jacket, PVC. It's all very professional skill. And the, the lab will test everything um, to make sure it meets our standard and the uh, compliant test spec. And here's uh, HDMI ultra high speed. This is also 2.1. 2.1, yeah. And the silver one is 2.1 and the orange, orange, orange one is the 2.0. This one can guarantee 80 gigabit per second and this guarantee 48 gigabit per second. All right, ultra high speed or premium. And, and here the Computex, there's several cable manufacturers. And, and this area uh, is focused on uh, Taiwan HDMI adapter cable manufacturer. We, because Computex is held in Taiwan, so we focus, we promote the Taiwan manufacturer, yeah. And here we have uh, we have Mr. all Ford. this brand is our all manufactured by Taiwan uh, adapter. All right, as many here. Yes, yes, yes. All right, uh, because millions and millions of cables are being sold around the world. Yeah, and sometimes it's a little bit messy to figure out: does my cable support this or that? Yes. Need to know. Sometimes they even put a little logo on the on the cable mm -hmm. to certify what they are, or it's only on the on the box. Actually, the best way or the simplest way is to is to recognize the label. Then you only have to recognize the label, and you you don't need to know all the feature because uh, the lab has already test all the features for you and consumer will not get confused. And here is uh, another Ultra yeah. with a 48 gigabit per second. Yes. But that's yes. with all the Ultra. Yes. And the premium, premium. 2.0. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so consumers just need to know that. 
You need to know that's the premium and ultra. Yes. That's it. And every cable manufacturer is joining this? Of course. A lot of uh, professional cable manufacturers join a premium or ultra program. Yes, already. And here, for example, there's a active uh, optical. So the optical can also be part of this. Yes. Uh, to do ultra. Yes. This is how you get very long cables. Yes. Yes. All right. So all these, all these ultra cables support AK. 6K 60, yes. And 4K, or 4K 120, yes, yes. yes.